first of all, I want to give a shout out to my man, Nishanta. His uh, YouTube channel, he's killing it with his channel right now, and he's totally been the inspiration for me to get back in this game. You should subscribe to his stuff. It's summer here at York, which means you know, a lot of people say, oh, are you enjoying your summer off? I do get a little flexible time, but um, really, I spent a lot of time in my summer doing hardware upgrades at school, and uh, which brings me back to Nishantha. Uh, last year, he and I attended the Pi Academy in, in Irvine, California. If you don't know what the Pi Academy is, it's, uh, it's for teachers who are interested in getting kids doing more making, more coding, and using the Raspberry Pi to make that happen. It's the, that and the Arduino are the two greatest tools for doing that sort of thing. So, last year I had my students use the Raspberry Pi pretty frequently, did some cool stuff. More on that, but uh, what one, one of the challenges of it? Hold on, I gotta. I'm doing something else. I'm multitasking here. Um, one of the challenges of Raspberry Pi is that echo. It's way too echoey in here. I'm going back outside. One of the challenges with using the Raspberry Pi is that uh, it's, it's this amazing and expensive computer that you can uh, program in various languages and you can attach uh, hardware, hardware elements to it like sensors, actuators, lights, all kinds of cool stuff to it. Uh, we build really amazing projects using that tool. But the downside to it is in the classroom, to actually use it, you also need a monitor a keyboard and a mouse, and uh, especially since we're kind of embedded in that whole laptop era, it's uh, you know we're not used to it. So my my idea for this summer was to figure out a way to solve that problem. Well, we did this amazing uh, library remodel that we're in the middle of right now that did a couple great things at the same time. One, we retired a computer lab up there. So we had a bunch of PC monitors that were just available to reuse. So I grabbed seven of those monitors. And then the other thing is we had a bunch of bookshelves that we were dismantling and retiring as well. Our uh, guru uh, craftsman, Vince, came up with the idea of using some brackets from that shelf to create some mounts. So what we're going to do is build a Raspberry Pi wall with seven monitors mounted to the wall so that kids can bring their Raspberry Pi, plug it in, and be ready to go without having to pull out a bunch of monitors. So let's see how it goes. project is coming along great. We're, we're setting up the rails. They're going to go up against the wall like this. It's going to hang these, hang these monitors and uh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, one of the snags we're running into is this, this little base plate. Uh, we can't have this. I was hoping I could find a way to just like take that off with some screws. Tried plying it off. Nothing, nothing really worked. So this is my solution, and I'm not proud of it.
So, we've got our monitor set up here, stationed all the way across. We've got four different stations. We're gonna have three more over here. Uh, we got HDMI and power coming out of here. Actually, this is uh, these are older monitors, so they only have DVI. Do you remember DVI? Uh, so you can get a cheap converter on mono price, so the HDMI to DVI converters. This is a six foot HDMI cable. I think we can get away with a three footer. So we get some of those, plug it in, and let's fire up this Raspberry Pi. This makes me very happy.